everyone, welcome back to our five minute fix series. Uh, today's tip's all about setup in the swing. So twice a week, as you know, five minute fix, just some little bits of information to try and keep the games improving. We've had a great month uh, with the Ladies of Golf, seeing uh, hundreds of women across the country. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy these series of video tips if you are watching for the first time. Uh, today's all about setup actually, and we've had lots of uh, success with our taster days uh, this month at the various academies uh, and down at the beaches. Uh, golf, uh, doing a bit of filming today, uh, but great to see so many women um, getting involved with the sport. Uh, and a common question this month has actually been there around the setup. So maybe a few women new to the game or even existing golfers coming back to golf. Just a little refresher on the setup position, how important that is actually in the swing, because that really teases up um, for the swing to try and get some nice rotation. So let's start with the biggest thing I see, which we can improve hopefully straight away, and that's a setup position where. I see a lot of golfers a little bit rounded in the spine and a little bit too much leg flex. And I think it's the, you know, just that reminder of how important it is. So what I want you to all to try at home, five minute fix this week, is try and get your shoulder blades nice and pinched back together here. So feeling like a setup, a little drill for you to try, is shoulder blades pinched back together, hold up about in front of you, and then from there, just lean forward from the waist with straight legs, okay? Now a lot of people start with golf just, they get the club and they go straight down and that spine becomes curved because they come down from the, the middle half of the spine. I want you to pivot forward from the waist first whilst keeping your legs straight. So let's try this drill. Shoulder blades back together, down from the waist. And the last thing I do now is soften the knees. Okay, it's not something I do first with the knee because then I'm going to be, going to be tra uh, trapped and, and cramped. So feel like you get that nice routine, shoulder blades back, tip forward from the waist, then just soften the knees just in your final position, your routine there. And from there, a common question we get asked as well is how far away from the ball do we stand? Well, a checkpoint is from the top of the golf club here, ladies, roughly with the irons and high bridge, you want to be able to see one hand's gap from the top of the club there. Another checkpoint is to feel like your arms are nicely hanging down and they're not migrating away from the body, which is a real common one I see as well. So I'm gonna run through that routine now. Let's get the uh, shoulder blades back together. Tip forward from the waist. Feel like the bum goes back. Build my stance and then soften the knees last. And I've got my hands whip check there. Let's give this one a go here. So really good strike there, happy with that contact. What I did was by standing with nice posture and a good distance away from the ball, it enabled me to get my full rotation, which is absolutely key uh, with all golfers. I think they struggle with that because the posture is in a setup which isn't allowing that good turn. Curved spine, pelvis in. So remember next time you're on the range, bum back, shoulders back for confidence as well to stand nice and positive to the golf ball. And from there, that'll get you a nice full turn and hopefully get you a good strike on the golf ball. So I hope you enjoyed that tip today, five minute fix. I uh, look forward to seeing you all very soon.